What does it mean to have like fractions? Why do we want them? And how do we get them? Like fractions are fractions that have the same denominator. So for example, 5 sevenths and 11 sevenths are like fractions. On the other hand, 2 thirds and 5 halves are not. Why do we want like fractions? Well, the nice thing about like fractions is they count the same kind of thing. In the example above, it's easy to see that 5 sevenths is less than 11 sevenths, but it's hard to compare 2 thirds to 5 halves in the same way that, for example, it's hard to compare 3 nickels to 2 dimes. If we have different kinds of things, it's hard to say which is more. Because they count the same kind of thing, they're going to be more convenient to us for certain kinds of arithmetic. They're going to be more convenient to us also for making comparisons. So that raises the question, how can we get like fractions? In order to get like fractions, well, we need to write equivalents to our given fractions that have the same denominator. So continuing with the earlier example, we had the fractions 2 thirds and 5 halves. And our goal is to get equivalents to each of these, where these denominators are the same. Recalling that the way we get equivalent fractions is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing, we need to find a number to write in the red box that's equal to 3 times something and also to 2 times something. And there are several ways that we can do this. The first way, the easiest way, is to just say, multiply the denominators together. So my denominators are 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to put 6 in the red box. What did I need to multiply 3 by in order to get 6? I multiplied it by 2. I'll multiply the numerator also by 2, and I get 4. What did I need to multiply 2 by in order to get 6? I multiplied it by 3. I'll multiply the numerator also by 3, and I'll get 15. So my like fractions then are 4 sixths and 15 sixths. Now, that works really well when we have nice small denominators like this. Suppose we wanted to write the following as like fractions. Suppose we wanted to write 19 48ths and 27 64ths as like fractions. Now, we could still multiply the denominators. I don't particularly want to work out 48 times 64 by hand, but I could use my calculator. 3,072. If there's going to be any more arithmetic involved, I want to avoid having denominator 3,072 if I possibly can. My other option is method 2. I could use the least common multiple of 48 and 64. Now remember, we said that the number m is a multiple of 48 if m divided by 48 is a whole number. Remember that 
division is just the opposite of multiplication. So m is a multiple of 48. If m equals some whole number k multiplied by 48. So the multiples of 48 are just 1 times 48 is 48. 2 times 48 is 96. 3 times 48 is 144. 4 times 48 is 192. 5 times 48 is 240, and so on. The multiples of 64 are 1 times 64 is 64. 2 times 64 is 128. 3 times 64 is 192. Oh, look at this. The number 192 shows up on both lists. 192 is the least common multiple of 48 and 64. In general, the least common multiple of any two numbers is the smallest number that's a multiple of both. To find this, we can just make lists like we did above. Or, there's a method involving the prime factorization. I'll link to that in the comments on this video. Or, finally, we could use the calculator. We go to the calculator. We hit the math button. We go over to num. Scroll down until we get to the LCM command. Enter the first number, a comma, the second number close parentheses, enter, we get 192. So because we prefer to work with small numbers, we'll use our least common multiple, 192. Okay, how do we use that? Well, what did we need to multiply 48 by to get 192? That was 4. We'll need to multiply the numerator by the same thing. We'll have 76, 190 seconds. For the other fraction, what did we need to multiply 64 by to get 192? That was a 3. So we need to multiply the numerator by 3. and we'll get 81. We have 81 190 seconds. Our like fractions then are 76 190 seconds and 81 190 seconds. And these are still mildly unpleasant numbers, of course, because the numbers we started with were fairly large. But they're much less unpleasant if we'd gone with the denominator 3,072.